How you doing, my Bradley? Hope you're doing well as always. So, the good people of Seymour Duncan have got a new goodie to share with you, haven't they? And today, as you can see by the power technology and also on Bcam, which I'll get to in a minute, we have this beautiful Seymour Duncan Buys Grip, which is a compressor. And as well as being a compressor, it, uh, it works as a really great boost, really, as well. Um, and I'll go through the controls in a minute, but with that volume control on there, it really you know, acts like a great boost, so you can really you know, cut through if you want to do a solo or really enhance a certain part in a song or something like that, you know? So let's just talk a bit about the pedal and then we'll get some playing and all that jazz. So let's cut to B cam. I love doing that. Um, so let me turn it off, I'll put everything here at 12 o'clock. So, it's really, really simple this, it's a compressor. A lot of people know what a compressor is. No, in a nutshell, it just kind of tightens your sound up. Um, used a lot in kind of clean stuff. If, uh, no, that funky kind of stuff, uh, which I was doing at the beginning of the video. Um, and then also, like I say, in a, you know, in a rock and roll kind of content, where you've got some you know, overdrive and dirt happening, you know, you can use it as a cool little boost, or just to kind of, just smooth everything around a little bit, you know? So, we look over here, we've got four controls. Um, we got the blend, we got attack, we got sustain and volume. And then we've got this switch going on here as well. Um, so let's talk about the first one here, the blend knob. Um, and that basically blends in how much guitar to how much compressed sound you want, you know, in a nutshell. This is all really straightforward. With the attack uh, knob, that basically regulates how much attack, um, no, from your pick attack on the guitar. Um, so, you know, this is the guitar normal. Oh, without the tuner on. Now if I put that on, I pull it all the way. Okay, let's go one extreme to the other. Really, you can hit that if I turn it all the way off. You know what I mean? Not quite as, as powerful as a, a tacky, hence the knob. Attack! Right, so, turn that back off. So, next one here we've got here is volume. Pretty self-explanatory there. No, it determines how loud you want the, the no, like I say, the boost the compressor to be. Um, and then the next one, sustain, which is a beast. Um, again, the answers in the title there uh, increases you know, the amount of sustain from a note or a chord. Um, so the last two, uh, well, they're all very important. But yeah, those, the volume and sustain knob is really, really sensitive. Um, so uh, yeah, you can have a lot of fun with that there. And then this switch. This is basically determine uh, you got here mid and high and full, and then so at, uh, so at the top there, if you've got the switch on, you've got more of the high, the treble frequencies going on there. Um, at the bottom, you've got more of the mid frequencies, and then uh, obviously in the middle there, we've got an F. I'm gonna do an overview as well, so you get an even clearer look at the pedal. Um, that would be you no know, the full full frequency of the pedal, of the compressor pedal going on there. So uh, quite a handy little thing to have there. I, I expect most of the time I'm going to leave it in the F, the full frequency um, for the compressor. Also, as well as now what's going on top, we've got you know, the ins and outs, and we've got a little power adapter going on there. If I can find it on B cam, there we go. Um, so you can put you know a regular power supply from your pedal board, or we've got here as well. No, obviously you can put a battery in there, just a regular. Um, Oh, the, the block batteries, I forgot the names of it, my mind's gone blank. Put the answer in the comment section below. The block batteries, what no, most pedals all take. Um, and that's pretty much it. Switch to turn it on, Bob's your teapot. It's really, really straightforward, it's a compressor. Uh, so let me just do some sounds. I'll start with some funky kind of stuff and then I'll kick in a bit of overdrive, which is courtesy of the 805 Seymour Duncan overdrive pedal, which is a lovely, it's my main overdrive pedal, I love it. Uh, going into a very, no, a clean Fender Supersonic amp, which is set like this. Really clean, um, and if I kick in reverb, it'd be a whore fame, but I probably won't use much. And of course, my Fender Strat, and my left hand and my right hand. Anyway, let's do some sounds. So here's everything at 12 o'clock, and uh, I've got the frequency switch on full, and uh, yeah, let's see what we get. Net pickup.
Just so you can hear as well, I won't touch the volume or the controls, I'll just turn the pedal off. and like I say, just rounds everything off. Um, yeah, that's what, it's just a smoother, really it should be called, instead of a compressor, smoother. Um, but I will say, the more you crank that sustain, it doesn't get as smooth. Depends on the sound you want. If you want a clean sound, I personally wouldn't do too much uh, sustain. Um, but let's have a little fiddle uh, with some knobs. So let's push the blend to about three o'clock, a little bit more sustain, um, I'll leave everything else as it is. kind of warm clean sound let's do a bit of dirt I'll leave the compressor exactly how it is as you can see right now kicking it over five <laughs> comparison turn the compressor off compressor back on gives it a fatter sound, isn't it, you know? Um, so, that was definitely leaving the same. I do, I won't touch the volume, because that's plenty of volume for me. Um, so, let's do, um, I'll tell you what, let's do a bit more attack. Um, just go back to a bit of a clean sound.
lot of fun to be had there, isn't it? Tell you what, I know a lot of you are probably shouting right now. I want to hear in a humbucker, so with a magic, let's do Les Paul. Whoa, and a Les Paul appears. Right, so let's have fun with this. So this is going to be a lot, lot louder, I would have thought, because humbuckers are there. And this is how I've got the compressor set uh, at the moment. So this is just the guitar. And now I'll kick the pedal in. So a nice boost again. Farm pedal. Without the compressor. With the compressor. see I was just having a little fiddle while I was playing there uh, you know I've got the from where we started the attack uh, sorry the blend um, quite a bit now nearly three quarters way up I switched it down to the mid frequency uh, so more of the mids were just boosted uh, and it, not that you need more mids boosted with a Les Paul but why the hell not uh, and you can see the attack and sustain of uh, no about one o'clock kind of mark um, if I really wanted to go crazy um, if I put the pedal on I'll leave it actually. What have I got on there? This is clean. Uh, that's the sustain all the way up, as you can see. Uh, the, the amp is making a nice rumble right now. Uh, you can hear it's very lot more bass here, and that, 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 as opposed to if I take it off. Um, Put it all on again. A lot more of a thud, you know, but I've got.
you get the idea. <laughs> that will go all day, you know. Uh, so you, you can get your e-bow and throw it out the window. You've got that, you know. I've had a chord go. <laughs> say well it's really great as a boost as a, and especially there if you want a lot of sustain and notes ringing out I mean this was just being silly but if you have no melodic line you want it kind of just to sing loads you know you can have fun with just that sustain there so it's a great overall pedal guys really like it what I'm gonna do I'm gonna switch back to the strap for a minute and I'll just do a couple of different sounds with uh, the high mid and full frequencies for you as well so let's go back to strap Right, so let's do some funky little sounds with uh, the frequency switches. So this is it all the way up now on the high. Yeah, you can see the controls are pretty much left the same now. I just had it. Uh, so here's some kind of clean stuff. Um, oh, without the pedal. With the pedal. Oh, I like that. It's really funky. Those highs are really there, aren't they? You know. And then if I go to just the mids. frequency you can hear the treble can't you and, and that was a bit too loud so that's why I was tamping with the volume a little bit um, so yeah it's a compressors are fun they're a lot of fun you know I've used them in the studios when it's kind of been built you know with logic and add compressor onto the sound but sitting there having fun with an actual compression, pe uh, compression pedal which is easier to play than to say um, is a lot of fun so yeah the buys grip I recommend checking one out so head down to your local uh, dealer and check one out, you know. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to Rossetti and to Seymour Duncan's site so you can have a full look at the specs and that kind of stuff. But like I say, it's a compression pedal. It's pretty damn straightforward. So anyway, I'm Mike Bradley. Thank you always for the support and I will see you next Thursday. Take care, Mike Bradley signing out.